How does atomic spectra prove quantization of energy in atoms? Well, ooh, portal. Uh, let's walk through it. it uh, well, anyways, uh, while we are trying to go through this portal over here, uh, we have to know that atomic spectra prove quantization of energy in the previous experiments, stated in B.1.8, and okay, we are here. So, uh, T Dog here, he's okay, he's looking around. And uh, due to Earth's gravitational field, he's bound to the Earth. See, jumpy, jumpy. He, he can't fly off. If he were to escape the Earth's gravitational field, he'd have to put in enough energy to jump. So, alright. The stairs here have certain energy in order to climb up or go down. The energy is said to be fixed for certain people, and for T Dog, it's fixed for him. It must take a lot of energy. So when T Dog climbs up, was input energy. But when he climbs down, he needs to take away energy. And ooh, TNT and ooh, bow and arrow. Alright, let's shoot this TNT. Slime. Catness power. So then, as we walk away, so right here, or there, is a model of the fixed energy levels in an atom. They're said to be fixed because it takes a certain amount of energy for an electron to climb up. And just like Earth's gravitational field analogy, it takes a lot of energy to climb up. So, run n equals 1. And if we fly up. Hold on. To n equals 3. And, ooh. Alright. We have to input a lot of energy to fly up there. That will come from a light wave, a photon. And, ooh, let's ionize ourselves. Alright, we are now ionized. It takes a lot of energy. So, a certain wavelength of light was absorbed in order to provide that energy. But then, as we go down, let's jump down. Whee! Ow! Oh, oh okay, we're alright. We lose energy. And lose health, apparently. 